So if you've been a fan of Abney Park for long, you know that we love to play pranks on each other. We're always setting up each other, and there's a whole bunch of hair on YouTube, and you read about more about them on our blog. Sometimes you witness them as we steal each other's uh, Facebook accounts and post under other people's names. Um, well, so there was a great one that just went down with the fi finishing of this new Abney Park album that's on sale on September 7th. Um, and basically it goes like this. Me and Josh and Christina are up late at night working on guitar tracks, uh, recording into the wee hours of the morning. And Christina is sort of our voice of reason. She's the one that comes into the room and says, that's badass, or that's not cool at all. That's not going on the album. So what we did, she had walked out of the room for a bit, and Josh got this mischievous twinkle in his eye and looked at me and he said, let's record the worst guitar solo ever for this next song then convince her we're really excited about it and see what she does to try to change our mind away from the absolute most terrible guitar solo ever. So first, let me play you the real guitar solo, the totally awesome one that everybody was gonna love. Um, this is what she was supposed to hear. Pretty rocking, right? Super awesome solo, but no, that's not what she got to hear. When she got back into the room, Josh had laid down the absolute most note-ridden, squealy-keyed guitar solo that's ever existed, and we tried to pitch this as what we thought was the perfect choice for this song. Here it is, the worst guitar solo ever. So she saw this, she, or she heard this. She sat on the couch with this look of terror on her face. Josh is standing behind the sofa, like laughing so hard that he couldn't be in front of her or she'd know it was a joke. And you could just see this fear on her face while she tried to figure out, how am I gonna tell him that there's no freaking way this is gonna be allowed on the album? Well, we had had so much fun with that one that we then decided we wanted to trick Titus too. So he hadn't been at that recording session. He was, he was at home and it was getting really late at night. So what we did was, oh, well, another thing you need to know is that the violin work in this song is freaking amazing. I mean, it's, it's mind-blowingly awesome. Here, let me play you the intro to the song so that you'll know how badly we desecrated it. Here's what the intro to that song sounds like. So pretty amazing violin work. I mean, and you don't even want to get into the technicalities in that. It's not even in the right key to play that style of hoedown violin. Um, so it's amazing, amazing work. And, and everybody's really, really proud of that, especially Titus, who actually did it. So what we decided to do was cover that up with the worst guitar solo ever. Then send the file to him as if this is the final version of the song you're never going to allow any input from anybody else. This is it. It's done. It's off to mastering already. And it sounds like this. We send that off to him about, I don't know, uh, it was after midnight, and we immediately start getting texts and emails like, 
dude, wh- what is up with the, the guitar solo at the beginning of the song? The worst teacher's impression ever. But yeah, he was horrified. We totally got him. I think Jody heard it right away and wrote back and was like, T2, they're pranking you. But yeah, anyway, it's wild and crazy and we're having a lot of fun here. I hope you guys like the new album when it comes out. All right, uh, here, let me play you the whole song. It's not mastered, it's not finished, but just to give you a taste of what the whole thing really feels like. Here's Dominion of Dust, the, what, uh, 10th track off of our new album, Circus at the End of the World. <laughs> 